Hi guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. If you were to put blood into a centrifuge, this is exactly how the blood would come out. You'd see the top layer as plasma, which essentially plasma is water and proteins. And so it makes perfect sense that plasma would float on the top because water is not very dense, right? The next layer is the buffy coat layer. And this is composed of leukocytes and platelets. Leukocyte is another word for white blood cell. And because cells are heavier than water and proteins, it makes sense that they would be a lower layer than the plasma layer. Finally, you have the erythrocyte layer, also known as red blood cells. And one way that you can remember that erythrocyte layer will be lower than the buffy coat layer is that red blood cells have iron in them, right? You know, the heme protein, it binds to iron. So it kind of makes sense, you know, we think about iron as being heavy. So it, it makes sense that the erythrocyte layer would be at the very bottom. With that visual understanding, it would make perfect sense that the correct answer here is answer choice B. With the top layer being plasma, this middle layer being white blood cells slash platelets, and the final layer on the bottom being red blood cells. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon and we'll see you next time.